Hello, this is Matchbox Car 101, back with another video. And today it is another Collecting with for Beginners, Episode 2. Now, today's topic is what's hot and what's not. Now, what? So, the second step to collecting is finding out what to collect. So, as most of you may know, here's one word that has been in the Hot Wheels collecting community for for a little bit now. Red lines. No, you if you're a motor person, you're thinking, oh, red line as in revving your engine. No. Red lines as in red lines on the tires. Now, unfortunately, I only have one, and I don't know exactly where it is. So, I can't show you an example, but if you were, oh, sorry, if you were to look at one of their tires, you know, be a normal Hot Wheels tire, however it looks. But then there would be a line around it. Like that. It's a really rough picture. But it's the best I can show. Now. Hold on. Forget it. Um. Now, something that's also always been pretty collectible is, and has gone and well, went on for a while, it was another word that involves tires, it's called. Black wall. Now this also has to do with tire. Now with this, I can show you a pretty good example. Here's my spam truck. My favorite trucks ever. So, you can see that. See, there's nothing there. It's just tire. Well, that's the example of a black wall. Um... So, yeah. Now, what's not hot? Oh, this is magnetized. Didn't know that. So, that's odd. Okay, enough messing around. So, What's hot and what's not? Um, so basically, there's a few that aren't very collectible. And one, as you may guess, is main lines. Now, main lines mean a different, a whole different thing. Main lines, you must be thinking, oh, it's the ones that have no series. The answer to that is no. It is the ones that aren't as higher end as, for example, oh, I don't have an example. Sorry. Um, like, take an old example. Um, Matchbox King Size to Matchbox, just regular Matchbox. Now, Mainlines aren't the only thing that's not hot right now. Well, pretty much is, I guess. It's really mainlines and one other thing. So, the other thing is called...
Oh, and there's one other one. I'll show you that one later. So, Hollyo's Classic is a series. For a while, it was really collectible. And then the interest kind of just dropped off. And then people were stuck with these non valuable cars. They're like, okay, so chances are you'll get one if you're buy a lot. Now, the last one. NASCAR. Now this goes into racing, which I'm really not fond of. But racing, well, NASCAR has hit rock bottom, if you ask me. It's, the time has passed for NASCAR. I mean, it's not really a thing anymore. Um... Sorry. Um, so, it's not really a thing. It's really just, you know, uh, well, it's just not a thing anymore. It's just stuff, and people have had these massive NASCAR questions think they were going to be worth it. So every time I get a lot, I get a ton of NASCAR. So I hate it and all this stuff. So it was not a very good job. I'm just trying to be quick. So now the next thing we have to go through on what's hot on and what's not. Well, the next topic really is where to find them. Now, where to find cars to collect. Now, the best, absolute best place to find cars to collect this is, like, my favorite place to ever go. Garage sale. This one is very big. It, you can find anything at garage sales. Anything worth it. Well, sometimes you'll get junk, but every once in a while you'll get diamonds in the rock. Now... Some other ones, a couple of them I don't really recommend, but, well, one you can do is uh, swap meets or if you can't really get to garage sales, swap meets or flea market are also a great place to go. Uh, so I recommend flea market over swap meet just because. Um, but they're basically the same thing. I don't see a difference. But um, flea, if you d can get to garage sales, like I said, it's a great place to go also. Now, then you can buy them in stores. But those are usually pretty picked clean. Like I know where where my Walmart is, I can never find Matchbox sing single packs. Just ridiculous. But, um, now, the next one, this is the one I really don't recommend, is, but if you, if you don't have anything else, There you go. Antique shops or uh, antique stores. Now, this, this, they jack up their prices and they're not usually that good quality or they just try to fake you or sell them way more than they're worth. All this stuff. So, wouldn't recommend that. But, um, another great place to buy them is on eBay. But don't, I wouldn't get sellers who have either.
much. Now, I wouldn't get them in singular, like, or just a few, because chances are they'll know what they're worth. Just, or if they clearly mark Lesney for Matchbox, and they charge an arm and a leg for, like, five, that's not great. Um, but also, if they lined them up. And this one is pretty risky thing. Oh, eBay. Uh, that's what I was going to say. So, on eBay, like I said, don't buy them singularly. Uh, or if they've lined them up. Well, this is a pretty risky. I mean, it's pretty 50-50. I mean, maybe or maybe not. Because chances are they've looked at them. And it's just not the way to go. But if they have them all in like a pile, I mean, they might get a little damage if they haven't been already. But this is the way to go because, excuse me, um, because if, so say it's just someone cleaning out their attic and they just find they're cleaning out someone else's attic and say they, they find about like 80 cars or something and they put on eBay, right? And then go, okay. Well, I don't really care about them. Okay. So they will sell them in a box lot for like $20 or like $10 or some, some something like that. Um, but that's usually what I would go for. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm I'm going to just switch off of collecting for beginners and go to a quick Okay. So, I'm going to just quickly switch over from collecting for beginners. I already said that. To um going to oops, sorry. Going to a quick haul thing. So now, um, I'm sorry, I just, just need to put the cab onto this. Here we go. Um, so, I just get picked up a few cars. Uh, let's go through. Okay, so, first one is Matchbox. I got excited when I got this. 2014 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. This is pretty nice. I thought. Really nice. I like it. Part of the Jeep series. I mean, there's only one other one I really care about in that series, so. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay, so again. Okay. Um, where did my hold up my phone car go? Here we go. Sorry, I'm recording this on the phone. Usually better organized than that. Hope you can see. And the next one is an art car. It's in Morris Mini. If you don't know what Morris Minis are, think of a Mini Cooper. Just a tr well, think of an old Mini Cooper. And today you have an art uh, Morris Mini. So there it is. It's pretty nice. Oh, you can see that, okay. Yeah, you can see that. Um, it's one of those weird letter cars. It has an H on it. It's cool. Well, if you remember, I think I got a couple months ago a... Uh, where did it go? I think I got, like, a combat medic. Um, it's one of those also an art car. Just looking for some crazy design. Huh. I guess they put it somewhere else. Oh well. Can't find it. So, 
In the next one, this is my second one. I have to, another one of these. It's Tesla Model S. So, yeah. It's nice silver. I have another one in red. And then I have a matchbox. Well, I actually have two in this color. I have a red one. And then I have a matchbox one. I think it's in gray or blue or some sort of color like that. So, yeah, it's nice. It's part of the oh, green speed because it's a hybrid in real life. I thought that was cool. So, um, so yeah. If you wanted to know, my diorama is doing well. I found a few more cars in my my box of stuff. I found a car I forgot I had. Um, yeah. um I like these. These uh, not even a hundred percent what they're called. But this one is a Mercedes Benz C class. Now, for some reason, diecast. If they're, like, normal cars, which I like, they're always Mercedes or BMW or some crazy brand, something like that. It's it's not anything normal, like a Ford or a Chevy or, uh, like, things you would actually see on the road or a Dodge or anything like that, anything normal. I'm sorry, there's some sort of something going on over there. Um... Yeah, I think it rolls good. Yeah, I like this car. Probably my top ten. Oh yeah. Uh, before I forget, I have a website that is still in progress. I completely forgot what the address was, but something 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 dot wix dot com dot something else. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Um. So, yeah, that's, I think that'll do it for this episode. If you would like to see more, uh, I think I have about eight or nine other videos. Or ten, I, I, I don't know the exact number. But, yeah, there's Oh, if you haven't seen the first episode of this yet, do that. Um, pretty sure in the last episode I showed you my monstrosity, or also known as my little freeway. Sorry, it's messy. I'm cleaning. Um, so yeah, I get. I built that. Uh, and then I have a new town I call Car Town Extension. It's rather nice. I like it. Okay, so that'll do it for this episode. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, subscribe. I can't do that with a straight face because, honestly, I don't care if you subscribe, but... It would be nice, but anyway, or like, or whatever, or do all three, or whatever. I don't care. Uh, so, I'm determined to find that combat medic. I, I have no idea where it was. It didn't go over there. God darn it, I keep losing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, back to the outro. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, okay, I think I've said everything else I need to say, so see you later. Bye. <laughs>